welcome back to a day in the life of Vivian. Today's video is a little bit different as I'll be doing my monthly favorites. I'm going to be attempting to do monthly favorites at the end of every month from now on. I was really inspired by Jen Im and other vloggers who do their monthly favorites. I thought it was a great way for me to show you guys what were my favorites from that month and then you guys can also try it out for yourself too. My monthly favorites are going to consist of a wide range of things, whether it be foods that I've liked, movies, music, books, or beauty products, or just anything. So it's just going to be a range of what my favorites were from that month. So for my June favorites, I have five things that I love from this month. So my first favorites of the month is my Madewell shorts. I recently bought these Madewell shorts. They're actually the chambray pull-on shorts in the size extra extra small. But these are my favorite. I absolutely love these. They're just a beautiful kind of a cornflower blue and they're just so comfortable. I've been meaning to find shorts that aren't jean shorts because when the weather gets hot, jean shorts are kind of really thick and just stuffy and I just wanted shorts that I could just pull on and they have elastic so they stretch too and they're just, I love these. Next is a beauty product which is my, the Atomy or Atomy, I don't really know. Korean people call it Atomy, but then it's Atomy, I guess. But Atomy Absolute Lotion. So it looks like this. It kind of has like a rose gold tint to it, which I thought was really cute. And my mom recently bought this, she had to test it out, and it's my new favorite facial lotion. I use this morning and night, and it's just really soft on your skin. You can just use one pump. And then it's fine like that and it just applies on so smoothly and it's not even thick i really don't like thick facial lotion for the summer because in the summer you just really need a lightweight one and then this one does the work and it's kind of smells like rose i'm not usually a fan of floral scents i'm more like a fruity scent but it's like a hint of rose and some other flower but it's not overpowering so it's not like one of those grandma smells but it's just like a lightweight smell that is great. And it's supposed to give intense hydration and nutrition to enhance radiance, which it definitely does. We are all about the glow here, everyone. Glow, glow, glow. And you could honestly just apply this and then you're ready for the day. Next is my Lululemon scrunchie. So I did not know that Lululemon sold scrunchies. I was only sure that they sold headbands and like athletic wear and all that. But I did not know that they sold scrunchies. And if you know me, I am a huge scrunchie fan. Especially the scrunchies that kind of have like this bow situation going on. I love it. I think it's so cute. You could just tie onto your hair and then you can kind of see like the little bow stick out and it's just perfect amount of girliness and like just love it. But I recently went shopping with my friend Grace where I got my Madewell shorts and my Lululemon scrunchie and when we walked into Lululemon, I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? It was a whole rack just filled with like different colors and different styles of scrunchies and hair ties. And I was kind of like, when did this happen? Where was this my entire life? So of course I had to buy one. When I steer towards hair ties, I usually choose hair ties that kind of have a versatile color. So it matches with all my outfits. But this cornflower, yes, I really think I'm digging the cornflower blue this summer. But this cornflower blue scrunchie was just calling out to me and I just had to buy it. So I was like, what the hey? Next is my favorite book, which is When Life Gives You Lululemons. So not that many people know, but I am secretly a huge book nerd. Yes, I love books. Growing up, I've always had a book on me. Just bringing it everywhere with me, reading it there, reading it here. It's just, I love books. My entire family loves books, and I think the first book that was ever read to me was actually a Harry Potter book by my older brother. When I was going to sleep, he always liked reading books to me, and at that time, he was reading a Harry Potter book. And I just remember, like, wow. But yes, yeah, so I love books, and especially reading books when it's raining. And one of these days, it was raining, and me and my dad and mom went to a bookstore together. And my dad's a huge bookie too. So I got like this huge stack of books with me. We went to the Starbucks cafe that was inside the bookstore. And then I just had to buy this book 
because it was so, so good. And I'm still reading it. Not fully done with it yet, but so far it's amazing and it's definitely one of my favorites. But it's When Life Gives You Lemons by Lauren Weisberger. And she's actually the author who wrote The Devil Wears Prada, which I love Devil Wears Prada. It's like probably my dream job. Not being a personal assistant to like Anna Wintour, like that would be great, but just in that whole fashion field, watching everything like in front of you, attending runway shows and like New York Fashion Week, like that'd be amazing. So she wrote this, which is the, the sequel. It's the sequel to A Double Wears Prada. And it's about not the main girl, which Anne Hathaway played, but about the second girl, which Emily Blunt played. I believe it was Meryl Streep's first assistant. Like, yeah, if you watch Double Wears Prada, you'll know who I'm talking about. But it's about her life after she leaves um, Miranda Presley. And I would highly recommend for all you fashion junkies out there to read this book this summer. Also, whenever I enter a bookstore and I'm looking for a book to read, I always look up online like whatever year that year is, like 2018, 2019, like best books or whatnot. And they always have those shelves in the bookstore where it's like the year's favorites or something like that. And for 2018, this book was on there. So I just knew that it was a good book. And last but not least is my new ring. So it looks like this. And it's actually a ring that my grandma recently gave to me. I'm really close with my grandma. She is probably my favorite person in the entire world. And growing up, she really just raised me. And when my parents were busy and going to work, my grandma was always there for me. She would always pick me up from school and we would walk home together. My grandma is truly, truly my entire world. And whenever I come home for breaks, I always love to spend time at my grandma's house and sleep over there. Rather than hanging out with friends, I honestly would just, I would rather spend my time with my grandma the entire summer if I could. Like that would be an ideal summer for me. Just spending time with my grandma, just talking about the past and the future and where I currently am. And I always like, like give her updates about like my social life too and everything. And then she always has like these really wise words to tell me. And, like if I'm going through a tough time with friends or anything, she'll just give me like honest advice. I wouldn't be the person I am today if it wasn't for my grandma. She taught me about my morals and my beliefs and how family means everything and that loyalty is honestly the best thing ever. Just you, just in a relationship, any relationship, loyalty is the best. Just being there for each other, sticking up for one another, just supporting each other. That's truly what it takes to be in any type of friendship or any type of relationship. So yeah, that was a little emotional moment there, sorry. <laughs> But um, when I was over at my grandma's house, she was looking through her ring drawer and I was like picking out things out. I was like, wow, this is so pretty. Like, can I try it on? I'm like, ooh, ah, you know, and everything. And the next day, or I think a couple days later when I came back to her house, she was like, oh, let me see your hand. And I was like, oh, okay, like here. And then she put this little ring on my finger and she said that for now, this is my gift to you. And she said this ring represented who I was as a person. In her eyes, that I am very delicate, but that I am strong. And even though I may be small, I can shine as bright as others if I want to. That just really touched home for me. And now she's just passing it on to me. And even though I'm more of a silver person than gold, I will be wearing this and treasuring it forever. So, Oh no, I'm sorry. I scared my dog. My dog's sleeping and I clapped really loudly and she was like... That is the end of my June favorites. Yay! I hope you guys enjoy this video. I have had lots of fun filming it. And yeah, I would encourage anyone to honestly do like monthly favorites. I think it's a great way of just not jotting it down because not a journal, but like recording what you liked from that month and just what you appreciated. I think we need more of that in life of being just appreciating what we liked and telling others about little memories or happy things about stuff. I think there's just a lot of negativity in this world and even though it's, a, it's like a simple 
favorites video, I think it's just that little positivity is great. As my boyfriend will know, I always tell him that positive thinking leads to positive results. Well, thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!